guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about product empties, part two. So I've done an empties videos before and I got really good feedback from it. So these product empties are items that I've kept and saved because they're definitely my favorite makeup, hair, and skincare items that I'd wanna repurchase again in the near future. So let's get started. <music> in my empties box is the Smashbox Photo Finish Water Primer. So this is what it looks like. Initially when I bought this, I wasn't quite sure whether it would work for my skin type because I do have oily skin. Or normally when I do apply makeup, I always apply mattifying primers and not really these water primers or um, moisturizing primers. But I quickly realized that this is a very good lightweight primer which is good for people with dry skin but also for people with oily skin. Actually this is my second bottle that I've emptied and I already have another one as a backup. This retails for $32. I've always waited for a sale and they usually go on sale for around $15. So highly recommended. Um, what I like about this primer is that it makes foundations go on smoothly and make them look less cakey. So sometimes when you have a full coverage foundation, it can get really thick on the face and especially with oils in my skin, it could really get cakey real quick. What I found is that whenever I use this primer water, it kind of helped thin out the foundation on the face more but also helps it settle into the skin a lot better good for any skin type normal to dry skin as well as oily to combination skin so highly recommend this primer water the next empties that i have is really no surprise to anybody this is the tarte shape tape concealer so it looks like this i have the color tan sand actually i have a love and hate relationship with this concealer um, I don't like it for my under eyes. It can look a little bit too drying for my under eyes. I always have oily skin. So the fact that this didn't work for my under eyes was quite a surprise. It's a very full coverage concealer. So I think this is really good for covering blemishes, hyperpigmentation. It's best used to even out the skin tone. The Tarte Shape Tape retails for $27. It has a good range of shades. Definitely worth trying for special occasion. It's not going to come off easily even with my oily skin. My face loves to eat makeup and this definitely stays long on the skin. The next product is a drugstore product and it's the L'Oreal Magic root cover-up okay this is my second bottle i'm already using my third one and i have the color dark brown being that i'm in my late 30s uh, i am starting to get some gray hairs when i'm filming or maybe i'm going somewhere special or when just i don't have time to color my hair i really use this a lot for root touch-ups. It goes really well with the color of my hair, which is kind of an ash brown color right now. It only lasts through one hair wash. So once you've done your shampoo, it's going to start to fade away. By the time you do a second hair wash with shampoo and conditioner, it's going to be gone completely. I don't see it staining my pillowcases. The L'Oreal Root Cover-Up uh, retails for $10.99 and it has about eight different shades. So that should cover a good variety of hair colors. Okay. So the next item that I have is the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in the color Lolita 2. So the really popular color that they have is the Lolita 1, but I prefer the Lolita 2 because it's more on the terracotta shade so i like to wear brownie nude colors more than mauvey uh mauvey pinky shades so this one i really like for the summertime when you start wearing eyeshadow makeup um, that's a little bit more colorful i like this because it's kind of like a neutral nudie uh lip color so that's the color kind of like a terracotta pinky nude or like a deep deep 
neutral or nude color. I'm really bad at this describing colors, but you can see it for yourself. I think this works as an everyday uh, lip color. I love using this a lot, and that's why I accidentally broke the lid one day, and now it kind of dried up on me. It retails for $20 at Sephora. I would say this is one of my top five liquid lipsticks in the nudie range colors. Next one is the Pantene Pro-V Dry Shampoo. I like to wash my hair every other day and so on the days that I don't wash my hair, this is great. I'm the type of person that has kind of a thick hair but really heavy and just kind of weighs down on my head. So it takes away the oiliness in the scalp when it's a, like a day two hair already and also it volumizes and I think I'm using it more for volumizing um, rather than for a dry shampoo. Every time I use this, I always have a really good hair day. So highly recommend it. It retails for $5.99 at Target. So go get yourself one. It's a great product. Next item that I have is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. This is one of my all-time favorite moisturizer. You can find this at Ulta as well as Sephora. Um, I like it because it says it's non-comedogenic and also an oil-free, oil-free, <laughs> an oil-free moisturizer. It's a great, great product for someone with oily skin. It feels very refreshing on the skin. I use it as a nighttime moisturizer because. Um, it doesn't have any SPF. It doesn't break me out. I would say the texture of this moisturizer is a cross between a gel moisturizer and a cream moisturizer. So it's definitely in between because there are some gel moisturizers that even though I have oily skin, I feel like it didn't do anything. This one, it's not too thick. It's not too light. It's perfect especially for nighttime. So this retails for $24 at Ulta or Sephora. I tried to wipe down my hand and the Kat Von D uh, liquid lipstick won't come off. That's the other thing that I wanna add with the Kat Von D. Your lipsticks are really long lasting, long wearing, and full of pigmentation. Okay, so the next item that I have is from MAC and this is the Sweet Cocoa Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush. So I think this is really gonna be good in the summertime where you have natural makeup. So it's sheer, um, it's more on the brownie nude blush. So when you want kind of more of a bronze look during the summertime, this would be a great blush. It's not glittery, but it does have a sheen to it. So I don't know if that's translating in the camera, but definitely a nice blush more on the brownie nude side and great for someone with medium skin tone. So the next item that I have is a mascara from Lancome and it's called the Monsoor Big Mascara. And the one looks like this. I would say this is a very good volumizing mascara. So it makes your eyelashes a lot fuller, um, which I really like. What I like to do is I put this on, wait a couple minutes, once it dries, I kind of just pump my eyelash curler a little bit on my eyelashes and I'm good to go. Sometimes I like to pair this up with a waterproof mascara like my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, another favorite of mine. The reason why I got to try this is because it went on sale and so I had to try it. So this mascara retails for $25. I don't think I'd buy it when it's not on sale. I just found out that it does have a waterproof version. The Monster Big that has the blue writing on it is going to be the waterproof one. So I can't wait to try that because I think that would be really great with, you know, with someone like myself who has eyelashes that like to point down. And so what I find is when I use waterproof mascaras, once the mascara is set on my eyelashes, all I have to do is kind of curl it a little bit and it holds the curl for a very long time. So definitely worth trying. I would get the waterproof one next time. Um, great product. Last Christmas, I was able to buy a whole set of the Drunk Elephant skincare products. 
And one of the items that stood out for me was their Bestie Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser. So it looks like this. So I just have the deluxe size bottle, but this lasted me a while. I mean, I would say I was able to use this for at least 10 to 15 uses. So this cleanser retails for $32 and that's the five ounce cleanser. I think it's gonna take you forever to use it up because this one is only one ounce. I feel like it's really cleaning my skin. It's good for deep cleaning. It doesn't dry out my skin. And also I like that it lathers. It kind of bubbles around the face um, while I'm using it. It's a good hydrating cleanser. It has some coconut ingredients in it, um, marula oil. It has um, glycerin, which is good at replenishing the hydration in the skin. So it has a lot of good ingredients and that's probably why I like it so much because it doesn't dry out my skin, but I also feel like it's really cleansing the skin. I like to use this when I have a full face of makeup on and I need some heavy duty cleaning. So hopefully someday I'll be able to afford a full size item of this product. There are some drunk elephant kits where you get one full size item plus other mini items. And so I think that would be really great if they had a set that had the jelly cleanser in it. Last one is the Ardell Wispies. Okay, I was kind of debating whether I should actually mention this. I don't normally wear uh, false eyelashes on a daily basis, but this Ardell in the style Demi Wispies is definitely a good natural eyelashes. It kind of tapers towards the inside and flares out towards the outside, giving you kind of like this lifted eye effect. Um, it's not too long, it's not too thick to where you know you're wearing fake eyelashes. It's just perfect for every day or even for special occasions. Definitely a good product. It's not too expensive, you can use it several times. I believe you can get this at Ulta for around $5. Some of them do come in a set, so I think that's what I'd like to do for next time, so that way I have backup. I highly recommend it. It really takes kind of the natural look that I like to a higher level. So try this maybe for special occasions, maybe if you have a wedding to go to this summer. This is worth trying. So that's it guys. Hope you like this video. Please thumbs up this video if you like it or learned something. All of the items that I mentioned are in the description box below in case you want to try some of the items that I've mentioned. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys back in my corner soon. Bye!